Hey guys, Nabil here. I hope everyone is doing fine and everyone is safe. This week is very special for Samurai Shodan and Last Blade fans. Not only are we going to get another episode of the excellent Last Blade webcomic, which you definitely should check out, but we're also going to get Hibiki Takane for Samurai Shodan. As you know, she's coming out on the 28th which is after tomorrow, Wednesday, we had our first trailer, our only trailer probably, but um, she looks just awesome. But SNK did not stop there, and I like this new way of advertising their content, which is wasn't the case before. So what SNK did is first, they released the official background music or theme for He Became Samurai Showdown, and it startled the determination in the dawn um i think it would have been better determination at dawn but that is not what i'm doing this video because not only did they release that they also showed a video they released a video today a few hours ago where they showed the um special attacks special moves of hibiki and samurai showdown and i think this is great that they're doing this hopefully they're going to do that for the all the captures including when we get to the king of fighters 15. so before we get to the special moves and we talk about them and you know uh, just go not not frame by frame but almost frame by frame let's go ahead and listen to determination in the dawn and this is one of my favorite favorite last blade remixes i've heard let's check it out Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? This is just the music of Last Blade it makes me want to see uh, uh, a new Last Blade chapter. That game is is beautiful. The, the tunes, man, the tunes are are on a, on a, on another level, really. So with that done, let's go ahead and see the video that they released where they showed all the special moves of Ibiki. <laughs> Really awesome, right? Let's go ahead and check them out quickly. I'm not gonna again. I'm not. It's not gonna be frame by frame. Almost. Well, maybe. Let's see. So, Hibiki looks great. Yes, maybe her clothes do not really match the era, but who cares? She looks awesome. So this is her first special. And, and so for those of you who don't know, Hibiki doesn't have any projectiles. She doesn't have any DP per se. 
uh, she basically is, you know, slashing character. She does slash a lot. And her special moves, you know, at first glance, might look like normal moves, but they're not. These are special moves we're looking at. They're just, you know, long uh, slashes, basically. So this is the her basic one. This is a quarter forward and um, and a slash button. And this is what it does. Uh, so it's it has quite a big range. Uh, and looking at the damage there, that's that's a pretty good, what, that's like 20%? Again, you gotta keep in mind that she's in rage mode right now. Uh, not rage mode, but I mean, she has a full rage meter. So that's, I think this one is with the uh, the, high sl uh, the high slash, HS. The next one we're gonna see, it's, uh, it's, it's the, this is one is with, uh, it depends on how they're gonna do it in Samurai Shodan, but this could be with the, uh, with um uh either light slash or medium slash probably medium slash and this is um uh, actually a follow-up to it which is wait, this is new to me i've played with hibiki a little bit and i don't remember at least in last blade i don't know about uh capcom versus nk2 i don't remember that she you can follow up with a second hit so we'll see if this is just uh for samurai showdown but the damage is, is pretty big and the range is, is is crazy now i'm not sure about the hitbox but i mean is she going to be able to hit jumping opponents probably if, if that's the case and next move we're going to see here so that's that's her uh, that's done with dp and slash basically hibiki will run and slash you It also can be followed up, as we're going to see here. So, bam, and then goes to the other side. Uh, which is kind of reminds me of, uh, of uh, uh, Genjuro's Rekas a little bit. Not as fast, not as, as violent, I would say. And then the next move is her... Oh, this is, uh, this is a... Uh, this one is done by a DP and Kick, I believe. Which is just a hit. Uh, I'm sure it can can be followed. As you can see, that it's not a lot of damage, not a lot of damage at all. So it's going to be kind of uh, interesting to see the properties of this move. This can't be. This is this is a special. It has to have something. I mean, look at the damage is not great in there, but it's probably going to be the priorities of the move. Maybe can it block supers? We'll see. Well, we'll give her a shot. Obviously, on Wednesday when the character releases. And this is the parry move, parry slash. Uh, it's a parry that goes into a, 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 you know, a grab, if you will. It's a, a half circle back and uh, kick, I believe. So it basically is a parry. It takes a move, takes a hit, and then it basically, you know, she flips the opponent to the other side, which is quite interesting. As we're gonna see, it can even be done as an anti air, which is interesting. Again, this is this is interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see the properties of these moves, how they uh, and it can be followed by uh, command slash here. Not sure if you need to do the, the entire move or just you know follow up. We'll we'll know again. I don't have this the uh, command list, of course. So in this case, she didn't she didn't take the sword from the sheep. You can see. Interesting. The damage is not big, as you can see. The damage is not big. Oh, so she went into. So that's a combo. She went with the DP and then automatically, not automatically, right after. She went with the uh, WFT weapon flipping technique here which is a redone super that she had in last blade. Kind of looked like an Ascend, but this is not an Ascend, obviously. But it's the same idea. Damn. That's a WFT of Hibiki. But what I love most is this, right? This SSM, the super special move. It's, it's almost a grab. You have to be close to the opponent, right? This is not... 
unless it, uh, you know, this is they do it like last blade because if you're just a few inches away from the opponent, it's just gonna be like a normal slash kind of. They're gonna do a lot of damage. But if if you are it, if if you are you know next to your opponent, then it triggers the cinematic, which is again they remade it a little bit. So she in this case in in, in Samurai Showdown she hits the opponent and follows them. Then she does the, the move that she normally would do in Last Blade 2. Which is, I love the coloring, the lack of color of the stage, which is different than the Ascent in this case. I think it looks pretty good. And bam! That's usually, you know, it's gonna be blood gushing, but this is a trailer, they, they take away the blood. And then you have this, you know, stamp, I guess it's a family emblem or something this is the same one that she had in last blade too this looks pretty awesome obviously this is ssm so pretty pretty big damage and finally is the isen which is again it's kind of, it's kind of interesting that like all like her super her SSM and Isen is pretty much kind of the same move and animation, but again, this is this is how the character is in in previous iterations. I think she looks awesome. She looks really good. I can't wait to try her again. It's gonna happen on the 28th. So that's just you know next next Wednesday, just after tomorrow, guys. I'll definitely be doing a stream, going over all her moves. Trying to go online and, and fight some people and I, the good thing is whenever there's a brand new DLC the the online activity of Samurai Showdown increases and it's easier to find opponents. So I'll definitely be using that opportunity and take in Hibiki online and see what she's capable of. So don't forget to be there on Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort. And being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Yard, Fahad Aswadi, Heinz Green 3, SSBM Slick Tricks, Jacques Paul, and Ken Suenaga. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Jihao Ju, Gil Sal, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, and Bernd Ritnas. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now Patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become Patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to Patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.